it's week two of the NFL. And up next, it's Deshaun Watson. Solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Browns and the Steelers under the lights on Monday night. At the confluence of the three rivers, the Ohio, the Allegheny, and the Monongahela, we are here at Pittsburgh's Acrisure Stadium. Tonight, it's the second of our Monday night doubleheader, as it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. They come in off a loss in the season opener, which doubled as the home opener. And when you lose that way, at home, season opener, it almost feels like two losses. So it's a big fight to get yourselves ready to go to play the next week. Meanwhile, for the Browns here, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. The Steelers offense set for their first possession here, and it's Kenny Pickett who will lead the way, the second-year man, Charles, from Pitt. And last week's loss came despite a clean game on his end, throwing the ball with two touchdowns and zero interceptions. His job this week is simple. Do it again. Continue to avoid turnovers and hope that what sunk them last week resolves itself this time around. Right off the bat, here's Pickett to throw it. And his first pass is incomplete. And there on your screen, Charles, the key and actives guys out this week. And there's never anything good about any injury, but there's a silver lining to them is that it creates opportunity for someone else on the depth chart. Will they take advantage of it with good play? Or have they not prepared well thinking they'll never get on the field and they'll go out there and hurt their team? Yeah, he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. If you look at this Browns defense, they enter play ranked eighth against the run in the NFL. Most of their challenges have come in the passing game because against the run, they've been pretty darn. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Martin Emerson. In there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Here's Presley Harvin now. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. It's a 39-yard punt, and good coverage means a loss on the return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. And the Cleveland offense ready to go to work behind the three-time Pro Bowler Deshaun Watson in his second season now as a Brown, number seven overall. And he was terrific in the opener through three touchdown passes, and make no mistake about it, he was eager to get right back out and do it again. So I think we'll see him try to test the secondary quite a bit as this game goes on. They run with a veteran speedster. It's Kareem Hunt. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Back to throw. Watson forced out to his left. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Watson now to throw. And Charles, you see the numbers for Amari Cooper last week. Five catches, 91 yards, and a touchdown. That was a nice job there pulling that one in. Now, this is an offense that will certainly spread the ball around a bit. And this is a guy that defenses had better focus on. Watson's throw taken in by Cooper here. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. We're scoreless after one. 
The first down play, to be frank, nothing short of awful, and now they have to deal with second and very long. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. Able to push his way through. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Hunt will try going up the middle. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Kareem Hunt halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Browns post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now a 7-0 game. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. Olszewski going to hold on to this one. Touchback. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Throwing on third down. Here's Pickett. That to the sideline, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. Well, that's what you get, apparently, when you try to take on a Pro Bowl cornerback. And what a play there to make the interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way, makes a great play on the football, and turns it into six. Hopkins with the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Olszewski going to hold on to this one. Touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ballgame as they come up first and ten. After the pick six, here's Pickett to try again. That's caught. Allen Robinson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Pickett now on first down. Man open is Robinson. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 36 yards on the play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Looking to throw, pick it. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Being chased at, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright, and this will remain a two-touchdown game. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout called for by the offense. 
as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Watson, he's got his receiver, Cooper. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. Amari Cooper, his second touchdown on the season. And the Browns will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Pick it back to throw. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. But well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. Taking it at about the 36. Pushing through the contact. So we are at halftime here. Sorry, Coach, put a pin in that. We are going to move right on to the third quarter here. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Browns are going to get the second half kickoff, and they've got this lead as well as we are back and underway. Taken at the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Cleveland. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week, another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent. The return excellent. The result, six points. So now the other return teams out there is they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. Pickett leads the Steelers up here with a fresh set of downs at their 25-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. It's J.O.K. Jeremiah Owusu koromoa in there for the sack. On second down, this is Harris. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. Third and 19. Pick it now from the gun here. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Third and 19, no problem as they're able to convert. Now a first down carry for Harris. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. 
Final minute now of the third quarter. Pickett looking to throw on second down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Pickett and the Steelers in need of a big play here. Third and long after the sack. Looking to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 37. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to Back now in Pittsburgh. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Pick it. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Well, Zadarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. And he's going to go down again. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Pick it, fourth down, desperation time. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and it'll be a turnover on downs. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. Certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? Game's already decided, as you noted, so they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. Historically, this is such a tough, loud venue, but you can hear a pin drop right now. A lot of fans long gone, not used to seeing a lopsided score like this. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throwing now, Watson dancing to his left. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A drive there of just four plays. And the final act belonged to Deshaun Watson in his touchdown run. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. Olszewski going to hold on to this one. Touchback. And now out come the Steelers. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. One final shot for Pickett. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. 
So Cleveland able to come away with the victory here. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for Cleveland, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Steelers, they'll drop to 0-2. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road.